Uh, fantastic. Thank you, everybody. Please take a seat. If you're visiting with us, my name is Michael Thurlow, the pastor here. It's my joy and privilege to share life and faith and fun with you all. And look, tinsel, isn't that lovely? Yes. It's an 80s disco party today, if you didn't know. I forgot my leg warmers and fluoro shirt, but yes. <laughs> Wendy and Lester, come on down, or across, or over, or... Yes, I have the gift of encouragement or embarrassment, however you want to take that. Uh, we love these people. Uh, we have sent, we sent them off and last year, and they came back, which was marvellous. And, and we're sending them off again, and... Yes, it's very exciting. Um, yes, I know why not. I see that hand, I um, yes. Hugs and handshakes is always good. Uh, so let me know what you're doing, Lester, because I know Wendy only likes the mic to sing in. <laughs> um, we, we've actually been privileged enough to uh, find a job um, for 10 to 12 weeks harvesting almonds in Loxton, South Australia. Um, so from there we intend to do some volunteer work that's been um, on the Outback Links website for probably 12 months now. So we hope we'll be able to help those people out. Um, they're sort of due west of where we'll be, but by the time you go around the Gulf, it's, it's a lot further than it looks. It's probably about 800 k's away. So um, it, it's a bigger state than it looks just looking at the map. So then, then we'll see what happens. So we'll probably be away somewhere between at least three uh, up to six months. Excellent. Now, if you want to pray for these people, see what they're up to, uh, have yeah. a chat to them after the service, get their email. It's a great weekly read. I always enjoy it. And you can pray for what they're up to. You can see photos and engage with them. So please uh, uh, chat to them with Mr. afterwards. We're going to pray for you. Let's do that. And uh, wish God's blessings upon you both. Father God, we thank you for Wendy and Lester. We thank you that you provide, Lord, as they head out once again to serve you, to care for those struggling, uh, for our farmers, to have a bit of work picking almonds and other opportunities, Lord, as they help people on their large properties uh, with maintenance and feeding and care of uh, children and animals, Lord, I pray that you just bless them, continue to bless them financially, continue to open doors of opportunity. May they be your hands and feet, may they be a light of hope to those in which they meet. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. We'll start with you. Have a lovely time. Have a wonderful time. We'll chat with you over morning tea. And yeah, certainly sign up for their weekly email and pray for our dear friends. That's really cool. Thank you for that. Now, Ron was 85 a couple of weeks ago. So, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Rod, anyone else we missed? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. So, congratulations, Ron. 85 years young. <laughs> if I'm as good as him at 85, I'll be praising him. Well. Uh, that's good. That's funny games. Uh, it's very good to be here. If uh, you. Did the Safe Churches training maybe three or four years ago, Church of Christ Queensland have rolled out a new uh, Safe Churches, Safe People training. That will be available for us and there's a workshop on the 8th of February, that's a Saturday. It'll be at Rivers Church of Christ and if you're in a leadership role or volunteer or part of our eldership, if you want to see me about that, we can get that sorted uh, through them. And, and so yeah, so that's happening. It'll be half a day. I think it's like it's just, it's 12 noon to 5:30 something like that on Saturday the 8th of February. But it'll be in our emails and things like that. So I'll be make you aware of that. So this morning, a very creative title. Uh, it's a new year. Yeah. So uh, that's, that's good, and I, I thought that would work quite well. So so we're gonna pray. We're gonna open God's Word and share it. Father God, this morning I pray that we can just take a moment to thank you for new beginnings and new years and birthdays and new mission and ministry opportunities here and those that we send out and those that we pray for and care for. Lord, I thank you that ministry can continue here in this place and we can be a light for you. Lord God, I thank you that we are looking forward again with hope and joy and expectation as we step into a new year in Jesus' name. 
It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. That's from Psalm 18, 32. I pray that that is an encouragement for you today. For many of us, we lost something last year. Maybe it was a friendship. Maybe a job. For some of you, you lost your dear husbands. Or maybe it was health or a close friend. Maybe you, some of you here this morning lost a dream. Lost some hope. Lost some direction. Maybe you lost some faith. But it is a new year. And in that context, we're going to have a bit of a look at Joshua today. Joshua needed to cross over to what was next. God is calling him out of his loss to greater things. So opening up our Bible at Joshua, chapter 1, Joshua sort of in the middle of the Old Testament. It's Joshua chapter 1, 1 to 9. We're going to read a few verses there together. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' aid, Moses, my servant, is dead. Joshua, just Moses' aid. Not a prophet, not a priest, but his aid. Now then, you and all these people get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land I'm about to give them, to the Israelites. I will give you every place where you set your foot, as I promised Moses. Your territory will extend from the desert to Lebanon, and from the great river, the Euphrates, or the Hittite country, to the Mediterranean Sea in the west. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous, because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give them. And they're still fighting over that today. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you... Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Whatever 2019 looked like, we're not staying there. For it is a new year. The presence of God had to go before the people so their eyes would be fixed on what so their eyes would not be fixed on what they lost. So their eyes would be fixed on where God was leading them now in the days ahead. I'm sorry Moses is dead, but it's a new year and a new day. And God is moving us forward as a church community here in this place, into his plans and his promises. Move forward into 2020. It's already 19 days old. And in Jeremiah 29, 11, we are encouraged. For I know the plans are heavy for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Fix your eyes forward. Take a step. Cross that river. Step into that new thing. Don't stay stuck in last year. Or well, the last decade for some of you, maybe. Somebody needs to take a step. And enjoy what God has now for you. The way forward is the way of faith. Let's look forward to this year, whatever comes. I'm hopeful, I'm faithful, I'm expectant. I'm looking forward to this year. God says, don't be terrified or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you 
wherever, whatever, whenever, forever. I'm sure things might go perfectly this year, but that's all right. There'll be some battles to fight. There'll be some wins and some losses. There'll be some joys and some disappointment. There'll be some hardship and some victories, but God is there as we move forward and look forward this new year. Let us be people of faith and hope. Look forward with expectation in your hearts. Fix your eyes on Jesus. He's writing the next chapter. Your story isn't over yet. He's still got the pen in hand. For the best is yet to come. It's a new day. We're crossing over to the other side. In the book of Hebrews in the New Testament, it tells us in chapter 12, let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith, for the joy set before him endured the cross. Jesus endured the cross. The joy set before him. Don't keep looking behind you and miss out what is before you. Not this year. Make a difference now. Serve Him better now. Care for one another now. Honour Him now. Worship Him now. Serve God now. Don't be waiting around for heaven, but be a person of influence in Jesus' name today. Embrace today. Don't get stuck on the wrong side of the river when it looks impossible, but take a step of faith. It's time to cross over as you go through that hard place. God is there in the middle. His presence reminding you and reminding me that we will be okay. And you'll get to the other side where His plans and promises are ready for us to take hold of. In the book of Joshua, chapter 4, Verse 10 to 18. Now the priests who carried the ark remained standing in the middle of the Jordan until everything the Lord had commanded Joshua was done by the people, just as Moses had directed. The people hurried over because the waters had parted, and soon as they and as soon as all of them had crossed, the ark of the Lord and the priests came to the other side while the people watched. The men of Reuben, Gad, and half the tribe of Manasseh crossed over, ready for battle in front of the Israelites, as Moses had directed them. After 40,000 armed for battle, crossed over before the Lord to the plain of Jericho for war. There's a lot of people. There's 40,000 armed for battle, plus all the other Israelites. That day, the Lord exalted Joshua in the sight of Israel. And they stood in awe of him all the days of his life, just as they had stood in awe of Moses. The Lord said to Joshua, Command the priest carrying the ark of the covenant of the Lord to come up out of the Jordan. So Joshua commanded the priests to come up out of the Jordan. And the priests came up out of the river carrying the ark, of the covenant of the Lord. Soon as they set their foot on the dry ground, then the waters of the Jordan returned to their place and ran at flood stage as before. Again, God had made a way. Again, God moved his people forward. And again, God is moving us forward. God makes a way when there seems to be no way out. His presence goes before us and His presence stands with us as we face these obstacles. They saw that God was with them all the way as they moved forward. No looking back, no turning back, no grumbling. No, oh, let's go back to Egypt. No grumbling, oh, Moses was a better leader than you. God had just opened up a river and his presence stood in the gap as he saved his people again. As he delivered them again. 
And he again will help you and stand in the gap for you and for me once again. A God of healing, a God of faith, a God of provision, standing in the gap for you and me once again. God was with Moses, but he is there. Now God is with Joshua. And look, you're safe on the other side. Friends, be thankful. You're standing. You've crossed over. It's a new year. And you're still standing. Be strong and courageous, for God is with us. He'll meet you where you are at. He'll meet you where you are at today. See Him make that way clear. Clear for you to cross. See Him open those doors of opportunity this new year. Don't stand alone. Don't stand alone. Don't isolate yourselves from others, but stand together. We're designed for relationships. Human beings are made for connection. Who are the important people in your life? Who do you need to spend time with? Who, you ne who do you need to have a coffee with? Who do you feel safe with? Who sees you and knows you and celebrates you? Who cares about you? Who are the people in your life who will challenge you and stretch you and inspire you? Who will sit and talk with you? Who gets you? Who will come alongside you and accept you? Who has God put in your life? Because we do not journey alone. Maybe they're in this room. Don't journey alone. As we serve God, as we stay, take a step, as we cross over, as we move forward, as we look forward, God's hand is in every situation. For you are not alone. Be strong and courageous. For the Lord our God is with us. He's with us. Don't underestimate what He can do. God bless you. Amen.